What are the highlights of artificial intelligence development in the past year or so? I define artificial intelligence as a jolting technology. Rather than a constant rate of doubling, like we are accustomed with Moore's law, AI progresses with a shrinking rate of doubling. Its rate of acceleration is increasing. From the two years of Moore's law, Stanford University with OpenAI several years ago published their study looking at AI doubling its power every four months, starting with 2008. And then the CEO of NVIDIA published their own data according to which AI is doubling in power every two months. So just to give a, a, a little bit of a perspective there, doubling every two months means six doublings in a year, 12 doublings in two years. So comparing AI with the doubling of Moore's law, one doubling in two years, it is two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096. So in the same period of time that Moore's law enabled electronics to improve twofold, AI improves over 4,000 times in its power. Now, what did this mean concretely uh, over uh, the past year or so? If you look around you, the world doesn't seem to have been radically transformed by it. Let me give you a few examples to show how uh, actually it is being transformed. One of the achievements of 2020 was the uh, release of GPT-3, uh, a neural network model with 175 billion parameters. Microsoft uh, acquired it uh, with an exclusive license for a billion dollars. And it is putting it at work in various applications. One of the most recent ones is called uh, GitHub Copilot. GitHub is a repository of open source uh, software uh, that also Microsoft bought for uh, $7.5 billion. Uh, the most popular such repository in the world where programmers uh, can store their own work or collaborate with others, improving each other's code. GitHub Copilot is a special version uh, of GPT-3 that is able to um, generate lines of code from a prompt. Basically, you start writing in um, some given number of programming languages and Copilot will suggest how you might want to continue writing the code that you are writing. Already, uh, Microsoft observes that 30% of your new code being written in uh, GitHub uh, is generated with the help of Copilot. Now, this code will still need to be reviewed, and it is not writing itself. You need to prompt it. Uh, also, it will need to definitely cover a larger number of languages, but already it is increasing the productivity uh, of the programmers that are employing it. And this kind of productivity increase is what we can expect artificial intelligence uh, to enable us to achieve in basically every field of intellectual endeavor. There are also other applications of GPT-3, for example, for generating 
marketing copy. Another example that I want to uh, cite is AlphaFold by DeepMind. DeepMind is Google's uh, division for artificial intelligence. Uh, we have seen their previous exploits uh, in, for example, designing a neural network that was able to beat the uh, world champion of the game of Go and then improve it uh, many times over so that it could be trained faster uh, without the help of uh, the libraries of human uh, matches. And now they applied their expertise in designing neural networks uh, to solve a scientific problem that has been standing for more than 50 years. And it is the problem of protein folding. The reason why this uh, deeply matters is because the shape of proteins is what defines their function. They don't have actuators, they don't have sensors, they don't have eyes or ears or legs or arms. The only thing they can do is to be, and through being of a certain shape, is what makes them do the good or the bad things uh, that happen uh, in every biological organism. Already, AlphaFold uh, has been used uh, to study and release freely the database of the entire human proteome. All the proteins that our body uh, creates and, and uses. And uh, it is expected that um, shortly the larger uh, database of every known protein, uh, over a hundred million proteins, will be uh, released as well. And this is free not only for uh, academic research, but it is free for commercial applications as well. Imagine the ability to turbocharge your uh, scientific uh, or industrial quest for any kind of application that uses proteins with the help of this kind of database without having to go through the trial and error that uh, was required before because you know what you can expect from the proteins uh, that you are working with. The third example that uh, I want to cite uh, is not a specific application but uh, a base technology itself and it is called AutoML, the ability of machine learning systems to configure themselves in an unsupervised fashion. Neural networks are fundamentally important uh, in the world of computer science today. They require huge amounts of carefully curated data they require the selection of the appropriate algorithms uh, to analyze the data, and they require uh, stages of fine-tuning uh, and then closing the feedback loop of how to introduce new sets of data uh, in order to um, specifically tailor uh, the neural network for a given application or another. An entire industry has been born to support uh, this called MLOps, how the operations for employing and deploying neural networks uh, and machine learning should work. AutoML is the application of neural networks to the task of analyzing, uh, fine-tuning, deploying, upgrading and maintaining neural networks for machine learning tasks. And it will absolutely dominate the field going forward. An important consequence is going to be also that of democratizing the access to tools that previously were available only uh, for companies with billion dollar budgets. In the future, everyone can be, if they want to, an artificial intelligence 
engineer.